guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you haven't been here before so if you don't know it's valentine's day next week and i wanted to put you guys on some really paying trends paying trends i'm obsessed with misguided it's no secret i have done a video with them before so all the clothes themes are literally like pink or red because i've gone with like that valentine's day traditional color i've literally you know themed everything and i do think there's going to be something for everyone because i have got quite a range of versatile styles so like we've got you know t-shirts and jeans we've got blazer dresses etc if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe to my channel it helps me out so much and i really do appreciate it let's get straight into it so the first thing i have is a oversized fuchsia blazer which is so long but cute yes i got the trousers to match of course so here's some fuchsia bottoms which just go all the way down again they're very long I think they're like wide leg or something which isn't my normal style to be fair yeah wide leg um because I find like if you have an oversized blazer then I'd want to have tight trousers because otherwise there's no shape but that is it in at the moment so I'm hoping it might look quite fashionable but yeah let's see what it looks like on I can't cope with this I literally look like I've <laughs> like I've been drowned in fabric like what this, these are both an eight, so I don't know why. I mean, they're oversized, but they're like oversized, like ridiculously. I'm not feeling this. Colours paying and everything, but like, okay, I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna try this with like a bandeau and then jeans or something and see if it would just work as a blazer because I just think the two together is like too much bagginess. I don't know if you guys agree, like, I could be delusional, but. I feel like I'm wearing like my granddad suit. Wait, why would my granddad have a bright pink suit? Okay, I feel like I saved it now. Um, yeah, that's cute. The blazer's still too big for me, like, I'm just not into oversized, but that is such a cute outfit compared to <laughs> the shambles <laughs> of whatever that cohort was meant to be. Like, the trousers were an absolute no. But yeah, just like, if you wanted to get the blazer by itself, that's actually such, okay, this is growing on me a lot like okay okay next this is like one of my favorites obviously i haven't tried it on yet but so this is a gorgeous leopard print pink dress and i believe yeah it has a tie around it and these dresses are really in at the moment it's got ruffle hem as well and yeah i'm actually so excited to try it on i just hope that it doesn't fall too low that's my only concern so this is the dress it is actually really cute but I feel like I'm just so picky, but this dress is too long for me and it's slightly baggy. Like, I just don't think it's me. I think a lot of people will like this one. And there's like this underneath it as well. So you've got that extra whatever. I love the bottom actually like on its own. Maybe if it was like a different top, I would like it. Like, I don't know. This one's for my more casual girls and I may end up wearing this myself because I'm not going anywhere fancy. Um, this love, really cute t-shirt. I just thought it was adorable. Like, I'm gonna pair this with some jeans that I already own so it's not gonna be strictly misguided but I will show you the jacket that I'm gonna pair it with which is misguided. I knew I was gonna like this one. Like, there's nothing not to like. Um, it's just cute with the jeans. Like, I really like it. It's just like a simple, outfit but you've like low-key made the effort for valentine's day you know love so this is the one that i had to get in a 12 so i do think it's going to drown me out because it is already oversized as it is but the color is gorgeous it's like not fuchsia it's more of a like dull down raspberry it says apparently this is part of a cohort but i can't think what the bottoms are unless they were just jeans but yeah it's really long again so I'm going to pair that with the top and then I'm going to do it on its own as like a dress because I feel like you could wear it quite versatile as a jacket and as a dress. So yeah, let's see what that looks like on. And for starters, even if it doesn't fit, over the shoulder works, you know. And then we're going to try it on this size 12 oversized jacket. Yeah, it's huge. Like, huge. <laughs> But it's not awful to be fair. I kind of feel like a painter. I feel like I kept saying that in the Molly May. Was it Molly May? Yeah, I kept saying the Molly May one that I felt like a painter. I'm getting that vibe again because it is so big. Like, off the shoulders, cute as well, you know. But I will try this on as a dress because obviously, as it's so big, 
I might try it with my cycling shorts if they are here. I'm not sure if they are um, because that would be such a vibe. So this is it done up and I couldn't actually find my misguided cycling shorts which are so paying. They're in my other videos. You're my Molly May one. Um, so if you want to check them out, I've literally, these are just leggings that have been like cut literally with scissors. Um, but yeah, that's the length. So you would need something underneath unless you're a weird ass brave bitch because I would not be risking that. Um, but yeah, I actually really like it. Like it's kind of cute. Probably look really nice with a belt actually. Let me get a belt. Someone needs to hire me as a stylist. Look at this. This is like my favourite outfit yet and it's literally like a bit DIY, got the cycling shorts underneath, got the belt on, <laughs> cut the top underneath, like, but tell me this isn't such a cute outfit with like, either trainers or heels to be fair, like I think, or boots, I feel like any of those would go, it's just such a versatile outfit and it's really making me want to keep this and wear it with a belt. I'm like a painter. This one's for the girls that are going to quite a fancy prestige, prestigious place, prestige, I don't know. <laughs> this is a jumpsuit and it's one, one sleeved and it goes all the way down to the bottom. I'm not sure about this one because I feel like there's no, this bit could be a problem because there's no like padding or anything and I don't know if you'd be able to wear a bra with it, but we shall see. But this does have the potential to be so pretty. I hate this one so much. Like, from the front, this bit's already in with me. From the front, it's not that bad, but I literally feel like a gymnast, like the way it fits, and it's not flattering. Like, this bit should be like in, like that, but it's not, so it looks like I literally just go straight down. Um, it's flattering on the legs, to be fair, like, but this bit keeps flopping down and I actually don't find it that pretty so that's kind of a write off <laughs> but yeah I feel like I've left the most exciting till last this is a blazer dress and it's like baby pink and it's literally like what? it gives me like Blair Waldorf vibes like if you've watched Gossip Girl you know who I'm on about um, this isn't actually my style I'm not going to lie like I did say in my Nasty Girl video and Molly Mae that I'm not that into blazer dresses because a lot of them aren't fitted and they just make you look a bit shapeless and I feel like this one could do the same but I know that it is very in and a lot of girls will like this trend so yeah let's try this on as the final piece this is so itchy look the fabric I hate when there's like an itchy fabric because fair enough it's like that at the front but it doesn't need to like continue behind so it like goes back to about there and then goes to silk but it's like so uncomfortable. Yeah this is the blazer dress, it is actually more fitted than I expected it to be but like I say I like to be cinched in so I will maybe try it with a belt as well but yeah it's not a bad shape, it's very bougie looking like. <laughs> Serena I'm in love with Nate. I'm just going to whack about round it and see what it does. It is a little bit like here. I'd have to wear cycling shorts because this slip just every time I move my leg it's like boom. And that's a bit risky but it's actually quite cute with the belt to be fair. If you want it like Blair Waldorf, grab yourself this. This I think was quite expensive, it was like £45. Um, so yeah, very expensive compared to the other stuff, but you know, it's more of a like special occasion, birthday, Valentine's, weekend away, posh meal vibe, so I actually can't move in this, I'm like. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video, I really enjoyed it, this is actually so itchy, like I need to get it off. If you did like the video, please like, comment and subscribe, it helps me out a lot, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.